How you doing guys? Uh, we're here in Adobe Lightroom 6. We're going to take a look at a couple new features. Uh, first one we're going to look at is the HDR photos, which, are, which is high dynamic range. And you take multiple exposures into one picture, gives you much more dynamic range. And first thing I'm going to do is show you the, uh, the three photos. This is the normal exposure right here. Uh, set at zero, this is minus two underexposed, and this is plus two overexposure. So uh, let's go ahead and go back to library. So we're gonna select all three photos together. We're gonna right click and photo merge HDR. And uh, it's going ahead and creating our uh, HDR preview for right now. And uh, we may even pause this. Now we got the uh, HD merge preview right here. You do have some different uh, settings you can use. Um, auto tone, uh, I'm probably going to leave off right here. I'd rather do it manually. Auto align is probably important. We did take all the pictures using a tripod, so auto align shouldn't be uh, a big issue. Um, here you can also um, do different exposures, low, medium, and high. Um, I think we're just going to set it to none for right now and just leave it as is. We're going to go ahead and merge that into one photograph, um, just like so. And you can see up in the left-hand corner creating HDR picture. And it makes this new photograph right down here. We're going to wait till that goes away. We're going to choose that and go to develop. And obviously it's uh, way too overexposed. So here we can adjust it. Now we're going to get much more information. Uh, and it's going to make for a very, uh, really great photograph. And we're probably going to have to set this down a bit. to make it much more usable. And we're probably gonna lower the shadows down. And uh, fortunately, I don't have the time to really go through the, uh, the photograph, but there you go, merge it all natively. Um, we're also gonna take a look at uh, the panorama view also we took four photographs also on a tripod um, And I'm gonna go ahead and show you that real quick. We're gonna go to the develop. There's the first one far left the next 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 and of course the last so we're gonna stitch those in together into a panoramic view so we're gonna go ahead and select all of them again just like so, right click yet again and photo merge, which is also in the same menu selection. Uh, instead of HDR, we're going to uh, pick panor uh, panoramic right here. And, uh, and uh, as you can see, we got it right here. And apply appropriate lens profile to photo before merging. So we're going to try auto crop and that will uh, get it a little bit better. And uh, also you got three selections. We're just going to go ahead and choose the first one. In fact, we may even just select that right here. We're going to go ahead and select merge. Now it said we need to uh, probably first um, select lens profile, which we didn't do before. Uh, as you can see, the top left hand side creating pan, uh, panoramic, panorama, I guess they call it. I always want to say paranormal, <laughs> so I'll mess up on that. Finished with our panoramic view here. We're going to go then into develop module and There you go, panoramic view. Um, let me see if I can get uh, to go full screen. And uh, I'm gonna go ahead and click and 
check to see if we uh, notice any anomalies uh, in the merge, which I don't see at all. It did actually a wonderful job of putting all the pictures together. Probably uh, HDR and panoramic are, are in Lightroom 6 are probably the best I've seen of any software easy to use. And then obviously you can color correct, you know, as normal. And uh, there you go. Uh, two new features in Lightroom 6, HDR and panoramic uh, photos.